Hey y'all. Don't mind the background noise. My window's open and we live by busy road. Today, I thought I would do an outfit video just because I wanted to do one for quite a while because I love making outfits for school and these are like school outfits and I will be adhering to my dress code at school. Yeah, so it's like realistic of what I could actually wear. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I go through the process of making my outfits because I think that's really fun. And it's like realistic for someone like a girl who works a part-time job like parents don't pay for all my clothes obviously so yeah now I usually start every outfit outfit with like a basic usually I start with pants just because I like like pants are more the staple than a top so this time I'm gonna show you the fits that I use with my jeans now we aren't allowed ripped jeans at my school I don't know why don't ask. Ask the school dress code. Um, so I do have a pair of like non-ripped jeans, but they are in the wash. So usually I would start with like layering. I have gotten into layering like everyone else at the moment. So this is like for cooler weather, but hoodie. And then I also love to add my bomber jacket because it just also adds layering. And then it just looks more put together, I find. And it's also warmer, especially because we're going into autumn in the southern hemisphere. And then I just pair it with my Adidas, so it brings in the black. And yeah. That's the fit. Once again, starting with the jeans as a basic and as like the first part I wear. And then I also, um, as I would be wearing my mid-rise, we're not allowed the gap here, but if I was wearing my mid-rise, mid you wouldn't be seeing this. Um, but this top, it's like a super cute little singlet like top, and we aren't actually allowed to wear speedy straps or like tanks for that matter. So what I did is I just got like the most basic white little cardigan, and it makes it okay to wear. So just imagine these are actually mid-rise. And yeah, cute little school fit. Honestly, one of my favorites just because this top is literally the cutest thing to ever exist. But yeah, super cute and it's basic. You can wear it. And yeah, that's basically one of my biggest life hacks with the dress code at my school is because you can't wear skinny straps. I do, I don't know why my phone just buzzed. Um, I do wear this cardigan a lot. I'll also be probably be planning on getting them in different colours just so I can match the outfit more. But this is what we got so far. And I would pair these, um, pair this with my New Balances. They're pretty dirty at the moment. Don't even mind that. I Once again, starting with a basic. And this time. Um, I know everyone has, well not everyone, but nearly everyone has a band tee. I have this one and it goes really well, like I saw this Pinterest outfit once. It was basically this exact fit, just didn't have like this logo. And I've based my life off it ever since. It's basically just like, if it's like a cooler day. This is good for like autumn and spring, just cause they are the cool, like cool months. Um, but yeah, super basic, super easy, and it's like cool, still relevant, you know? Um, it's like kind of grunge is once again, would be wearing it not with the ripped. I would wear it with ripped if I was just out and about in town, but I'm at school, so. So these pants are just some like tailored pinstripe black pants. They are a bit big on me. They should be probably up around here, but I just accidentally got the size too big. So, um, but I kind of wanted to do like a black and white winter theme this year because I watched Wednesday and her fits absolutely slayed. So, you know, trying to be her, but never will achieve. Um, anyways, so I got this like sweater vest thinking it was really cute. And it is really cute. But, like, I still don't know if it's too much for school. Honestly, I don't think it is, but some people might. Anyway, this is a fit, black and white, super and I would probably wear it with my loafers. Yep.
Um, another basic fit, but it's like perfect for school. Um, I love this top. It is so like I don't know why, but it gives Elsa like Snow Queen, you know, vibes. And again, it's like a black and white fit, good for like with the vibe I was going for. It's the same like pinstriped um, trousers. Um, they are meant to be tailored, but once again, as I said, I got a size too big, so they're not there. And I would probably either pair these with my loafers, or I did get these like Mary jeans that are also platform. Um, if they're not sneakers, you will be catching me wearing platforms. Um, now, this is definitely much more of a spring and summer outfit, and I do usually pair it with the New Balances, but I wore this quite a lot this summer, um, especially on the hot days that we had very few of this year, but it's like super basic, super cute little dress. I absolutely love it. If you find, like, and this is like perfect for my school, because it's got like, sh like t-shirt sleeves, it's just long enough, like it's just past mid-thigh, and it's still really cute, still really cute. And I'm not really good at accessorizing. I did just recently order like jewelry and everything just cause I feel like it would make the outfit more. I do always wear my heirloom. So that's just gonna be part of every outfit. But yeah, this is basically this fit, super cute. I would definitely recommend getting a dress like this just because it's super easy and it still looks like you put effort in and everything, so. This is another really cute dress idea, is that if you have a spaghetti strap dress, which is like most of us, um, just get like a plain white tee to go underneath and it will go really well. Like I wore this on the first day of school this year and I just paired it with my new balance and it went really well, like no dress coding, absolutely none. Um, and yeah, it's still a super cute fit and this can go with like any spaghetti strap dress because it is white and it goes everything basically unless you have like something that goes with black. You can just get a black t-shirt. This outfit as well is really good for summer. It's all white so it's like super and it's also these pants are linen. This is a cotton tech shirt. I would definitely recommend getting like white outfits like this. These pants though are hand me down from my mum. Low rise, super cute. This top, uh, yeah, just a regular tank. And we aren't actually allowed to wear tanks by themselves, which is really annoying. Um, <laughs> love the dress code. So I just pair it with a little zip up. I got this, I thrifted this zip up ages ago, so it is kind of like falling apart at the seams, but we will just ignore that until it fully falls apart. Um, but yeah, super cute. It also breaks up the white so you don't look too intense like you're going to like a white party or something. But yeah. That was basically all the fits I have for you today. And I hope I did kind of explain how I do like the process of like how I start with the basics and either layer up or have one thing that is not basic and it kind of makes the fit. Also, I will learn how to accessorize. I know I need to learn how to do that. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is like not one of my regular videos. I'm kind of nervous to post it because it's not a vlog. And then people at my age or my school, when they find out, they're going to be like, ooh, like, why are you making a video when people don't actually care? I'm like, well, I find them interesting. I hope you find them interesting too. And yeah. Bye.